this lesson, I'm going to show you some simple interest questions. So in the first one, it says calculate the simple interest on $2,600 for three years at 7% per annum. Per annum just means each year. So this is a really easy question. All you need to do is multiply the money by the number of years and then by the percentage. So in your calculator, you would type 2,600 times by three, times by 7% and you would need to put the percentage symbol into your calculator or alternatively you could change that percentage into a decimal if you're good at converting percentages into decimals they will both give you the same answer so when you do that you should get $546 so that is the amount of simple interest that was made in the next question it says Tim invests $400 for six months at 5% per annum, work out the simple interest gained. So it's very similar to the last one, except we need to be careful because the duration of time is in months. And remember, the rate of interest is per annum, and this is each year. So before we multiply the money by the length of time by the rate of interest, like in the previous one, we need to make sure our six months are written in years. So six months is half a year, so you can change the six months to 0 0.5 okay because that's the same as half a year so then you can do the multiplication 400 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 5% or 0 0.05 if you prefer to write that as a decimal and you should get $10 okay so that was the simple interest gained in the next question, it says Sophia invests $4,600 at 9.5% per annum. How much interest has she earned and what is the total amount in her account after four years? So let's start by working out the simple interest. So you need to multiply the amount of money she's investing, $4,600, by the rate of interest, so 9.5%, and then by four, okay, because it's for four years. So when you do that, you should get $1,748, okay? So that is the simple interest that she earns in the four years. For the last part of this question, we have to work out the total amount that Sophia has in her account after four years. So it's just as simple as adding the amount that she invested in the first place, so 4,600, to the simple interest that she accumulated in those four years, so 1,748. So when you add those together, you should get 6,348. So that is the total amount of money Sophia has in her account after the four years. In the next question, it says, find the length of time, so the number of years, for $400 to earn $160 if invested at 8% per annum. So usually to work out the simple interest, we would multiply the amount of money invested by the number of years, so time, and then by the rate of interest, and it would give us the simple interest, which in this case is 160. So I'm going to write that down, except for the length of time, I'm going to replace that with the letter T. So the amount of money invested is 400, multiply that by the number of years, so t, time, and then by the rate of interest, 8%. And that gives us the simple interest, which is $160. So there's our equation. Now we have to solve this equation to work out the value of t. So to solve this equation, what you need to do is divide 160 by 400 and also by 8%. So if you put that in the calculator, Okay, something like that, you should get five. So the length of time for this amount of money to earn $160 interest is five years. In the last question, it says Kim invests £10,800 and after four years, she has earned £3,240 in interest. At what annual rate of interest did she invest her money? So it's similar to the last one, okay? I'm going to start by replacing the annual rate with the letter R. So that's what we need to work out in this question. So usually we would multiply the amount of money invested, 
So in this question, 10,800. And we times that by the number of years, so four, and then by the rate of interest, so just R. Then that would give you the simple interest, which is 3,240. So similar to the last question now, we're just solving this equation to work out R, okay, the rate of interest. So to do that, you need to divide this side of the equation by this, okay? So if you put that into your calculator, you should get 0 0.075. So we're not quite finished because remember, this is a percentage, okay? So this is in its decimal format. So to turn a decimal into a percentage, you need to remember to multiply by 100. So if you multiply that number by 100, you get 7.5%. So that was the annual rate of interest at which she invested her money.